Welcome to the Brightest Side Live. I'm Ed Larson. I'm Amber Nelson. Yes, thank you for finding us on our newly changed channel address to LPN TV. Tell your friends, tell your mothers, tell your dogs, tell anyone with a computer. <laughs> uh, it is very good to see everyone. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, just before we get started, I wanted to just thank everyone who subbed to the channel. Uh, you all are really helping us get going here. We got a nice, a bunch of fancy equipment, and we're probably us to keep this channel going strong and keep it going hard so That's go right. ahead and sub to the lpn tv as soon as you get a, a moment and also if you got amazon i mean it's run by the devil himself but you know if you got amazon you get a free sub so use it on us give it give it to us i love it eddie do you know that a dog's computer is called a mac wolf <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. It's the brighter side. Uh, thank you for that. Oh, Fatty Fingers, how you doing, buddy? How are them digits, man? Good luck getting them in your pockets. Uh, they says, thank you, Ed and Amber, for encouraging me to see the silver lining. You're welcome. That's right. And you know, sometimes I don't see the silver lining. I wake up on the wrong side of the bed, but that's okay because we are forcing our brain to think positive. You know, I don't think there is a wrong side of the bed. Right. You know, There's unless four unless you get off of like that over the headboard. I guess that's wrong. Just do a cartwheel off yeah. of it. <laughs> right. Or like out your window. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm too uh oh Spring Heel Jack Coffee. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Thanks for the fucking Java. Yeah. Uh I'm too happy with Ohio voters to have gripes today. Amen. Oh my god, I Amen. love it. You oh, know, man. I was on that hellscape of a website X today, and this guy was like, How come all these women that are past giving birth why do they vote for abortion? I don't get it. And I'm like, what a fucking, like, look into these guys' brains is if it doesn't affect me, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, maybe people care. Uh, yes. Maybe. It, it was great. And uh, as someone who has multiple nieces in Ohio, fuck yeah. Yeah, Miss Levitt, Miles Levitt, thank you for subscribing. Ding, ding. Ding, ding, Miles. Rock and roll. Um, Landspray, oh, Landspray has an early gripe. Uh, let's see, uh, uh, Tate Reeves won Mississippi again. Who's That's Tate my Reeves? Group. You know, I don't know Tate Reeves, but if they won in Mississippi again, I imagine they're a giant piece of shit. That's a giant piece of yes. shit. Ah, yes, they're more, uh, they're more PP than SS, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, my or I guess, mom. I guess they're SS and PP. They are SS and <laughs> <laughs> SS with lightning bolts. Oh, he's the governor. Good. All right. Well, oh, you know, good. who knows what'll happen to him. Maybe he'll die in office. Maybe. Um, you know, so things are going well here on the brighter side. I'm feeling pretty good. It just like I, I really, I've been struggling to find a gripe. I just got back from New York. I had such a lovely time there. You had a bagel? I had, a, I had one bagel. I had one. I went to Tall's Bagels and the bagel was $18. What? Yeah, it was 18 It was an $18. I guess that's a gripe. It was an $18. It was Best bagel I ever had in my whole life. I but it like fucking better have been. It better have been. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like I'm like sometimes I woke up in a time machine in like another universe and I'm like, how is this eighteen dollars? Like I couldn't believe it. Two was days so... ago it was like it was six dollars. I don't understand. Yeah, I remember I was just like I, I was there, I ordered the bagels, I got one for me, one for Julie. And I, we wanted the salmon, you know, because we don't get bagels that often from New York. You know, you treat yourself right. And I get there, I'm like, hey, uh, how you doing? I'll take uh, do everything bagels. If uh, if they're hot out the oven, don't toast them. And then she took two straight out of the oven. I could see the steam coming off the bagel. It was beautiful. She cut them open. It just literally puffs the steam. I was like, oh, my God. It was so pretty. Yeah. And then she's put a bunch of cream cheese and lox and onions in there. And she cut it right down the middle. There was no stupid fucking pickle next to it like they do in L.A. sometimes. These sons of bitches, they put fucking pickles and olives next to the bagel. And it touches the bagel. And you got pickle and olive juice on the bagel. It's weird. And you know what they do in L.A. that's sacrilegious? Is they give you one packet of cream cheese. Just yeah. that Philly cream. Like, I need it to be stacked. You make like your fucking bodies. cream cheese yourself. And you spread it on there like a goddamn animal. That's right. Yeah, and so I got that in two coffee. And the lady said, $51. What? 
And I was just like, that's a lot for two bagels and coffee. But, you know, I happily paid it, and I'm never going back again. <laughs> never again. But if you want an overpriced, delicious bagel, you go to Tall's Bagel on 88th Street and 3rd Avenue. It's fucking bread, man. It is just bread. It is just bread. But I did get this fish, and that's that, honestly, was that's the right. best smoked lobster. October, ever. Ryan, so, thank you for gifting a sub to the LPN community, and thank you for gifting a sub to Ryan Hitch 14 Thank you so much. October, Ryan, what's going on? Uh, but, but. Buck bag McBucks 420. How you doing? Hope you had a good time in Chicago last week, Eddie. Yes, I went there as well. And I got deep dish pizza. I've been falling. I hate touring because I fall off my diet. Uh, well, it's so hard because so LA has LA is the mecca for like smoothies and sushis and yeah. green salads. And then you go to your yoga and your meditation retreat. Mm -hmm. And then you, you know, whatever. But everywhere else is like dip dish pizza, Popeye's chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit yourself a clock. I went, uh, yeah. <laughs> shout out to Pequods for the best deep dish I ever had. You know, that's the thing. If I'm going out of town and I'm going to break these goddamn diets, I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. And that's hard. That's good. Well, Chelsea Nadine has a great thing. No, no gripe to mention. I just wanted to say that ed you've been doing such a great job on lpn thank you i hope you both you and amber have been doing well and thank you for all that you both contribute to the network we love you both thank you chelsea i love you too salute to you thank you so much for listening stick around and tell your friends to sub to the goddamn twitch channel <laughs> lpn tv baby we're coming in check out our new logo it's got the mothman on it or i think it's the mothman it's, i'm I think still it's, it's learning Baph all my cryptids i've been they give me henry has baphomet it's baphomet baphomet yeah henry has crypt cryptid flashcards for me whenever i hang out he's like who's this i'm like i don't know chupacabra <laughs> chupacabra do, yeah. do you know the jersey devil is actually the uh italian chupacabra um, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically, and it just has like a sport. He has like a tracksuit on. Just, just uh, like a short guy. He's like, hey, <laughs> stop calling me the Jersey Devil. You got your pieces full of glass. I just want to go and I want to get my hoagie and not be made fun of. What are you doing? Hey, you, where's my mother? Come on. What are you doing? What am I doing? Oh, there she is. I love you so much, Mom. I love you, I mommy. love you so much. Don't you fucking yell at me. <laughs> um. His Adidas tracksuit is like this big. <laughs> Do you have any grapes? Uh, yeah, I still don't have a refrigerator. They tried I, thought to, they, I thought I was supposed to come today. I thought it was going to come today, too. And I set my alarm for 7 a.m., which is very early for me. And they just never came. And I don't. they said, we're going to come on the 10th. We don't know what time. We'll give you a call the night before. I don't. It's a fucking refrigerator. What's today? Today's the 8th. Today's <gasps> two more days. Do you know what today is? What? Today's officially tootsie's 16th birthday wow and today is the day it was on it's on her paperwork she's still alive 16 years old what a good girl i we we did her her lump on her head started bleeding though this morning but, that's okay you, know, what are you, you gotta do? lick it up it's a, I, I put some wax on that's it. right do you know the oldest dog died today oh bobby 31 years old bobby, making, he died a little while ago oh we're making him 137 in human years his yes. last words were please kill me <laughs> Please. <laughs> Bobby was cute, man. Yeah. They Portugal. They, a lot of people are calling bullshit. What? A lot of vets are saying that, that Guinness has to uh, do a uh, investigation on uh, Bobby's age because all the vets say it is impossible for a dog to live to 31. Those lying Portuguese. Yeah, you know. So we'll find out. Uh, you know, As soon as we get an update on the uh, the dog topsy, we'll let you know if uh, Bobby was dog really topsy. 31. They, you know, they, they cut them open, and it depends on how many rings are in the middle of them, you know, like a sequoia. Um, Do you know 200 corpses were found in a Colorado mortuary? They were just, like, stuffed in a freezer? Fuck yeah. You know, <laughs> I don't know if you ever saw um, The House That Jack Built. You ever see that with the serial killer? Matt Dillon played the serial killer. No. Lars von Trier. It was very upsetting. Of course. And uh, But the, he's always, in, and he's, he's a serial killer. He's prolific for all these decades. And, uh, and, and then... He's, he keeps hiding the the, the the corpses in the in a in a cooler, in like a walk-in cooler, and it's for it goes on for decades. And the the most unbelievable part of the movie for me was uh, that cooler is gonna break down. You know, yeah. I worked in restaurants; those things go down like twice a year. Where's the soup? Where's the human yeah, soup? Yeah, I mean, are half of those corpses fucking HVAC repairmen? I don't know. I don't know. That's my gripe. It's fucking <laughs> house the Jack built's got a flat flaw. <laughs> <laughs> so oh yeah so you don't have a refrigerator uh, yeah, you got a cooler what are you doing I, I, we have nothing I have to like I have my one meal a day I go out to eat like something very simple maybe I'll get something from Ralph's which is mm -hmm. our local grocery store but I don't have like 
I don't have a fridge yet, and it's getting quite expensive. It's and very I, aggravating. And I don't, I feel like gross because I make all my food at home and yeah. I make like, you know, chicken and vegetables and whatnot. But so now you're I'm just eating, eating a bunch of horse shit. Yeah, just preservatives out the wazoo. That's no good. They're getting rid of all, Biden's getting rid of a bunch of stuff. You see that? He's getting rid of a bunch of cereals. Really? And uh, stuff like that. He's saying, go, go, fuck you. You're making everybody fatter than they have to be. Good for him. Yeah, yeah. You're getting rid of some cookies and shit. You know, it's going to be, we're making some moves. Some bad sodas. Sodas That's you never right. heard of. Really? Yeah, it's all weird sodas you never heard of. Fat they're, ass and soda? Fucking, yeah, bad, it's basically dollar store sodas I yeah, think yeah, they're yeah. getting rid of. Mr. Which Top? Is, yeah, Mr. Top. Mr. Pibbs. No, Mr. Pibb might get to stay. We'll see what happens. We'll see. But what about Mr. Bottom? Mm. Do you think it's a brown soda? <laughs> little brown bubbly uh, soda. Oh, yeah. Mr. Top's just cum-flavored soda. <laughs> it's hard to get the bubbles and cum, but they do it somehow. That's right. Um, I got just jokes. You want to tell some jokes? Sure. All right. There was a super fog that rolled over New Orleans, making a new phrase to the term, who dat? <laughs> who dat? That's a good football reference. I like that. Yeah. Um, a group of orcas sank a yacht on Halloween um, off the coast of Morocco. They were able to go undetected because they were dressed as belugas for Halloween. No one knew it was them. They were dressed as belugas. Nobody knew. Too many deep dish pizzas. That's right. <laughs> this Saturday, all national parks will be free. So that's great. Even a poor family can die in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Egalitarian. Uh, you hear this? China's taken back all their pandas. All of them. There's going to be, in 2024, there will be no more panda bears in America. You send those pandas back to China. Yeah, which is really sad, you know, because I love panda bears. But it's not. It's good news if you happen to be a bamboo tree. Now you can <laughs> sleep easy, knowing that one day you'll be the roof of a tiki hut in some fat man's backyard. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good life. Thank you. Thank you. Police caught two robbers stealing about $800,000 in dimes. They really found the cat. They found them really easy to catch. They just uh, followed the noise. Yeah. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. If you hear something, say something. How much in dimes? $800,000. That is a hell of a heist. In dimes, You yeah. need like a pickup truck for that shit. Yeah. They said they had di I think it was in Philly, and they had dimes just scattered everywhere. Yeah. Amber, you're a new Simpsons fan. Yes. Yes, you just, we were, it was, I, I never see anything like it. We were watching, we were in Henry's backyard and we we're watching some Simpsons Halloween episodes and the Amber had never watched the Simpsons. No, I wasn't allowed to. And then I kind of forgot because, you know, the world's a big place. And I was like, oh, right. I never seen the Simpsons. Yeah. I don't. You know. It's insane. Well, I they're, making, it. they're making a big. Simpsons got a big change coming up. Uh, from now on, in future episodes, when Homer gets mad at Bart, he'll no longer stra uh, strangle him. Uh, they said that, uh, citing that times have changed. Now, for his punishment, Homer will simply just fuck Bart in the ass. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Anal sex. Twenty twenty three. He's gonna give him puberty blockers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's, that's Bart's punishment. <laughs> oh, SAG, uh, SAG after approves deal to end the strike. Congratulations. They can uh, go back to not hiring me. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. Good news. Good news. Are you, are you news. SAG? No, I think I'm a must join, but I don't want to give these people money. Yes. You know who you should give money? LPN TV. LPN TV. Feel free to sub down here. Five bucks a month. Five bucks a month. You get you get access to all the pretty emotes. You get to the, get the ham emote. Let's throw some ham emotes in there. Let's yeah. get some Tears of the Clown emotes up in there. Let's see what the emotes we got going on here over at the last podcast network, which is LPN TV. I love it. Can we do a machete for mine? Because I live in Hollywood and there's machete attacks galore. Yeah. Machetes are really too cheap. Seven dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a, a horrible one, but if you you know just just a couple of dollars more, you get a nice grip. That's right. Oh, look at all these people with the emotes. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. Throw your emotes. Show the people what they're missing. All right. Um, I got some funny videos I wanted to show you. Yeah, let's show. Let's do it. These are like Thanksgiving videos, right? Well, no, I got I had some normal funny ones, and then it, then we got some Thanksgiving ones. I, I have two Thanksgiving videos. Yeah, so we're gonna I do have. some stupid ones that got nothing to do with Thanksgiving okay. first, and then we're gonna roll into the Thanksgiving video. I love it. Big Is cheese everybody cool with that back at home? Love it, Big Cheeser Boy One. Thank you for subscribing. Love you, sweetheart. Fucking subscribing all over the place with your big cheeses. <laughs> oh yeah, Jesus Christ. All right, who was it? It's the first video there. That was Eric. pizza that gave me diarrhea. <gasps> I can't hear it. Oh, there it is. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, this is the cutest thing in the world. Is that a Shiba Inu? I don't know, but it is a happy dog. That one's going to live to 31 years old for (laughs) sure. (laughs) This is what everyone needs. Oh, yes. Get in those ears. Oh, my. Oh, look at the eyes. That is going to be a great dog. If you tried to do that to Rambo, he'd bite you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at so just, Oh my god. Oh yes. Scratch the face. Scratch the nose. Oh. Oh, that's that part's gross. <laughs> oh. Mm, yes. It's so happy. Bye. Hey, that is a happy dog. You know. I love that. Yeah, so you, 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 you be good to these dogs. I lo- you know, somebody, they were like, oh, I love just seeing dogs chained to a fence barking at the gas station. I was like, who are you? Who, you, who are these people that you find? This is on Twitter, Ed. This is your Twitter. This, this, is, just, your, this is your horrible algorithm. I do follow these people sometimes. I block, I mute them so I can still look at it. They don't know me, but a lot of them have like, I saw a picture of um, a warship in the Panama Canal. Mm-hmm. So we might have World War Three. Let's play another. Um, I mean, who knows? What's video. It could have been. It could have been from decades ago. Right? Yeah, it was, but they only release it when it's like a nuclear war situation. Oh, okay. All right. What's the next video? This guy's here. Talk about goals. Is that you? I wish. Whoa, is the that bear. you, Ed? The bear is me. The bear is you. <laughs> Do you think the bear knows what's going on, or is it just like a trained... Yeah, some of these Russian bears are just so, I mean, so nice. Just yeah. so, they're, they're extra nice out there, and I don't know why. Because <laughs> the men just, are so mean? Yeah, I guess so. It's the only reason to go to Russia, is just so you can like cuddle a bear. Yeah. You can't be doing that here. No. They'll come get you. <laughs> All right, so we got some Thanksgiving videos. Thanksgiving's coming up. I hope you guys are excited. I don't know if you got any. Uh, uh, oh, they, uh, uh, what is that? Lana Del Spray underscore. Thank you for the sub. Great name. Great name. Lana yeah. Del Spray. Um, so Thanksgiving's coming up, and I'm excited. I haven't started thinking about what I'm going to cook. I haven't really. T- I don't even know where it's going to happen. You know, but I would say you are a good cook. I'm a good cook. Some people are not a good cook. Yeah. And I always thought, because I'm from Louisiana, I always thought, like, everybody can kind of cook something. And I remember going over to somebody's house in the Midwest, and I saw them pull a frozen turkey out of the fridge, do a little, couple little things of salt on it. We got a hype train incoming. Yes. Hype yes. train. Hype. Chugga, 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 chugga. <laughs> the bird Your was burnt. Ass. Yeah, the burn was, of course it was burnt. It was burnt. It was raw in the middle. They're like, I don't understand why. And I was just like, I hate this family. Yeah. Thanks for the sub, the queen of the bats. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, so uh, I mean, I had such a, I love Thanksgiving. It's one of my favorite. I love cooking. My mom always cooks so well, you know, so it was a, uh, we always had a good Thanksgiving at my of house. Of course. Um, what's, um, you, what's it? You got some Thanksgiving fail videos. Yeah, I got a couple Thanksgiving fail videos. I will say, first off, a video I didn't include was somebody just cooking it with the bag and the turkey. Take it out. Take the bag out. Um, and oh, you mean uh, the bag full of uh, like the heart giblets and, shit? and hearts and stuff? Yeah, yeah, you got to take the bag out. But some turkeys are cooked in a whole bag themselves. That's right. It gets confusing. Thanks for the sub, Golf House. You're a fucking animal with your golf in right. your goddamn houses. Now it's important to be sanitary with birds, mm-hmm. and because you can get salmonella, and everybody's going to get sick. So here's what not to do. Okay. Whoa! I should have done this over the sink. Oh, this is a terrible start to the video. Just <laughs> terrible. What the fuck? <laughs> Don't do that. Go to that guy's house. You know, <laughs> Don't go to his house. Uh, yeah, good looking people shouldn't cook. You know, no, like I, if you're attractive, just wait for the food. No, and they should Get also be little You're in mean. the way. You're in the way. <laughs> Get your salad out of here. And I do think they should be a little bit mean, too. Yeah, yeah, it always helps. It, a little, it always a helps. little bit of a bitch. Yeah. Um, here's another one. Here's another one. Don't do this. Get a meat timer. That right one time I ruined in Thanksgiving. Oh no. 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 Oh no.
They put it in the microwave. So they went and put it in the microwave. Oh, fucking animals. Yeah, I'd be so mad. I would leave that table. And I was like, I'm going to go to Chili's. And you guys, I'll never see you again. All right. Well, this is the brighter side. So I have two Thanksgiving videos, uh, which I think are really uh, good, uh, good ways to cook. Okay. One of them's a fun uh, dessert hack. And the next one is just a damn fine turkey. Let's see the um, Let's see that watermelon. Look at this. Oh, this guy's good. You know this guy? Just like on the internet. Mr. Blue Gloves. Throw it in there. Get them grapes out. Oh, make a little fruit salad. Yep. Fruit salad was my name in college. Mm. Mine was Hot Piss Eddie. <laughs> 24 hours later. What if... Would this, this be apropos? It's wow. It's like a jello. That looks good. It's a jello. <laughs> should I <laughs> should I get for this Thanksgiving a watermelon and put vodka in it? I mean I, I prefer rum, but you, rum? Can do, you can put whatever you want. I'll do rum. Would that be mm. apropos for Thanksgiving or I don't know? I guess I guess a watermelon is yeah, that's more of like a like a summer a summer thing. pineapple. What's a good fall fruit? Like pears. I mean apple cider is always good. Yeah, I can make like a like a drink for everybody. Apple cider, uh I like bourbon apple cider, but it also works with rum. Yeah. This is exciting. You gotta get the good cider. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm trying not to uh, cough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doing good. All right, uh, what's the show? The, let's see the other one. Let's see the other one. You're going to love this. Hey, Dad, what's for dinner? Ooh. Thanksgiving right around the corner. Let's make a jerk turkey this year. Ooh. Start oh, by yes. cocking the turkey. Remove the backbone, flip it over, and crack the breastbone. Pat the turkey dry, cut. season with salt and jerk seasoning, then rub it down with the jerk marinade, making sure to get under the skin as well. Let the marinade sit for 24 hours, then inject Check every part of the bird with Creole butter right before it goes on the smoker. Get yes. your smoker up to 275, throw on the turkey, and let cook for an hour. After an hour, brush it with the jerk marinade and melted butter mixture. Do this every 45 minutes. When it reaches a nice color, place aluminum foil on it, crank up the heat, and cook it until it reaches 160 internal. Full recipe is in the caption and cooking with MrCooper.com. It may not be beef, son, but it's definitely what's for dinner. That looks yeah. delicious. I would eat that. Oh, yeah. you know, it's spicy as fuck. Yeah, have you ever had a fried turkey? Oh, I, used, I fried a couple turkeys. Woo, deep fried turkey. Those like deep fried bagels are scary. Careful. You have to be very careful. Because in the middle, there's like, because especially if it's still a little frozen in the middle, that shit's going to bubble up. Uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be messed up. Um, and put a little less oil than you need to. Uh, poros, poros Loris is, don't forget about the amp, uh, the apple brandy. Apple brandy. Maybe That's I'll do that. Idea. Yeah, the queen of the bath spiced hot apple cider with whiskey. Yes. That sounds like right up my, I want something warm. Mm-hmm. Mm. But butt bag McButts 420. You're you know you're the best. I make watermelon salad with red wine vinegar, sugar, jalapeno, and onion. It's the fucking bomb. Ooh, that somebody, sounds very good. Social cryptid cryptid says uh, deep fried turkey are basically surprise suburban IEDs. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Chelsea Nadine, any veg heads in the chat? I can't wait to cook up my tofurkey in a couple weeks. Ooh. You can do a tofurkey. I like to do is uh, I'll make a tofurkey. Uh, and if you, what I eat is the, the vegetable, the vegetable stock. That's what you got to make sure you buy. I love that. And you soak it in a bunch of onions and carrots and celery and you get the thyme and all that stuff and it. the rosemaries and stuff like that. You know what I like? Cause I like keeping a bunch of like nice little spicy condiment stuff in my fridge that all got thrown out recently. But, um, sorry, <laughs> the, uh, the roasted garlic bouillon, the lick, the, the hard stuff, it's about this much, and you just take a spoonful, add it to hot water. That makes a stock immediately. Oh, And the very roasted nice. garlic is vegan and it has a really nice flavor. So you put that in like vegetable stuff, it's delicious. Mm, Lana Del Spray, deep fried turkeys are why my dad stopped working at the fire department. That makes a lot of sense. It causes uh, a lot of death every year, deep fried turkey. But, you know, sometimes it's just worth it to, for that extra little bit of delicious to put your whole family's life in danger. That's right. Um, I deep fried a turkey um, once when I worked at Hooters. Um, Hooters was, we just got these brand new fryers in. They were like, the, they were so expensive. They were like as much as a Corvette. And, uh, but they were beautiful and huge like this. They were vats so we can cook hundreds of wings at once and shit. Tallahassee, they love their chicken wings. So I went in there. I had the key right and so i went in there on thanksgiving we were close i fucking just went in fried up a whole turkey and then split it was wonderful you broke in to fry a turkey i mean i didn't break in i had the keys 
fucking I was just, you know, but I, yeah, I got in there. I fried the fuck out of a turkey. It took like 30 minutes. I came back. Everyone was so happy. It was an unbelievable time. That's incredible. Ed, you're like Santa Claus. Yeah, but at Hooters. Um, yeah. Iculus 2789. Me and my friends have Thanksgiving every year. We have a huge dinner. They crush a couple of tanks of nitrous into a bunch of drugs. It's fantastic. Oh, my God. We should do drugs on Thanksgiving. I mean, uh, sure, but I, my nitrous days are over. Oh, you don't want to huff it? Not anymore. I used to be in the back of UCB in their back hallways, and I would just huff that nitrous. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that was back in the good old days. Man, we had this, like, you know, the back in high school, there was, like, a house that was, like, you know, parents didn't exist at this house, you know? It was, like, one of those. Yeah. And I don't know how these guys found it, but they got, like, two giant tanks of nitrous they stole from a hospital or some shit and uh, then they got those giant bouncy balloons you know the ones that you hit against your hand they go do 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 yeah. and then uh, we were doing those for it was a couple of days where I, I can't believe everyone came out alive <laughs> It was uh, my buddy. He was uh, he did. We showed up, and uh, we were, my buddy had a big jeep, and my other friend uh, he got on. He's like, "Watch this!" And he was thought he was all big and tough because he was on the football team and shit. Right. And then he did a handstand on his front bumper, and then he uh, slipped, and then he landed on the uh, the pavement uh, eye first. And then he popped up next to my window, and he's like, "Am I okay?" And then his eye was just huge and swollen, and we yeah, just yeah, man, yeah, we just pulled off screaming. It was a very yeah, scary great. time. And then you know, I waited a couple hours till he left and went to the hospital. Then I came back and I had a good time. I had a couple nitrous hits myself, and you know, who knows what's going on with that weird no family bunch of children? I guess they're adults now, and their kids have no family. Right. Um, I usually say yes and to things, but one time these teenagers bought some nitrous whippets in Hollywood, and they're like, "You want to come around the corner and do some?" whippets with us and i said no and i often think what my life would be like if i would have said yes i mean probably the show wouldn't exist nope yeah there'd be a lot of different stuff uh, going on in your Eddie, life <laughs> I didn't do you ever go to a concert and then like a van pulls up and it's like and they have like a nitrous tank in it and then dudes just start selling balloons out the side of the van till the cops come and arrest them wow. and then they just like you know it's like fine and then uh, in new york though the cops don't even arrest them uh, they because I guess it's like not illegal for to them to sell nitrous in the street or some shit. Yeah, I don't know, but the cops just watch. What? Probably just too many fish fans to put in jail, and you don't want those right. fuckers stinking up. Can in jail. whippets go in your blood system, like for a drug test? No. Yes. No. Whippet Thanksgiving. Uh, no. I think we need a whippet Thanksgiving. Because mm. you know all those drug tests LPN does for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to be clean and sober to work here. I like making a mushroom barley soup. Maybe I should make it with uh, real mushrooms. We might die. Yeah, but that could be fun. You just a couple in there. You don't tell anybody. Everyone's just like, hey, you know, let's listen to The Grateful Dead. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> The Wooch. My father loved deep fried turkey so much he quit his job at the fire station so he had more time to deep fry turkeys. Yeah. Hell yeah, Wooch. Ding, you ding, tell ding. that person who won't put out the fires for all these people trying to drink, eat their delicious turkey. My brain's not working at the exact <laughs> rate I would like. Oh my God. Lance Bray and Wooch are having it off in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the comments here. At the Wooch. No, it was just year after year after year of men blowing off their arms, hands, and fingers. Yes. Oh, it's uh, like 4th of July for fat people. Mm, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, no, you got to be careful. Yeah, may, drain the turkey. No blood can be in the turkey when you put it in the deep fryer. Uh, and then also, you know, just, you know, you butter it up and you take your time. You put, dip it in, you dip it in, you take it out. You dip it in, you take it out. You don't give it the chance to overload itself, you know, and don't overfill it. You can always add more. You can never have less. That's right? same with drugs too. Yeah, that's You can that's always right. have more, you can't have less. Yeah, I was, I was talking about drugs. Tryptophan. Um, hydro squeegee. I work in the meat market and I love when people are getting desperate with frozen turkeys. It makes me so joyful in my soul. <laughs> Man. What do I do? Oh, uh, when people like buy a frozen turkey like two days before Thanksgiving and expect it to be ready to cook. No. That shit's you, gotta sit out for days. It's gotta sit out for days. And you gotta brine it overnight. If you want a juicy turkey, you gotta salt the shit out of it and then put it in the fridge overnight to let it something with a mired collection. Kenji Lopez all can explain it better than I did. It does. You you don't have to brine it, but it little, does help. Sweet, I better. usually I put a little I do the red wine over yeah. the top, you know, and I got the juices in the bottom, and you know, you got to tie up the legs and you got to stuff the fucker real good. We have any tips on uh, what you like to make? Like what's your specialty Thanksgiving dish? Me? 
I mean, I can make anything, but the thing is, it's like, because I'm a single woman going to a party that's going to be farther away from me, mm -hmm. I'll probably make something like an appetizer or a drink. I mean, I could do a baked ham, but then it's just me and an Uber, like, mm. go slow. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. I think shrimp cocktail is a necessary appetizer for every Thanksgiving. You can't have a real Thanksgiving party if you don't got no shrimp cocktail sitting there. But um, I always like, I usually, I make the turkey often, um, which I love doing. Um, but uh, my mashed potatoes are fucking right on the money. They are, do you get a ricer? Do you put a ricer in it? I don't know what that means. It's like a little thing that clasps. So you put the the boiled potato in it, and it like like shreds it. So it's very fine and like no lumps. Oh no! I just cook the fucking shit out of it. And I whip it. I, I fucking I get in there and I whip the hell out of it. Yeah. I do a couple like a bag, maybe two of red potatoes. You cut them up into fours. You throw them in there, and then you whip the shit out of them. And the the key to making really creamy potatoes, yeah, crack a couple eggs in there. There just you go. put them right in. People are like, oh, salmonella, salmonella. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. You're, it's just two eggs. Speaking you're, of which, I got salmonella the other day. You got salmonella the other It's like, a, it's almost, it's like very lethal. It was very bad. I got it at this place and it's like a little coffee shop by me because I can't eat at home. And it did take 30 minutes for the sandwich to come out. It finally comes out. I'm like, something feels awkward about this, but I'm really hungry. But I was like, my body was like, don't eat it. But I was so hungry and I, where else am I going to go? And um, I shit. All day. Hell yeah. Rock and roll. I got salmonella from some chicken wings once. The reservoir of these motherfuckers up in New York City and the uh, over by NYU. Uh, I got it. It was like one of those things I really wanted wings and I cracked open a wing and it was like, I just knew it was going to get me sick. You know, and it just like, I saw like, it was almost like black smoke came out of the wing when I opened it and I still ate it and I got very sick. Didn't you also get salmonella from this place, China 66? I didn't get salmonella. I got food poisoning from them. You know, the, uh, it, salmonella is very intense. Yeah. It's, it could, it's, it's, it's very, it's, it makes you, you usually have to go to the hospital. Really? When you get salmonella. Yeah. Because what very, I was reading, it was like, you don't have to, but you're going to like shit your brains out all day. Be very careful if you have to drink lots of water and do everything you can to get rid of it. But yes, you most likely, yeah, you could definitely kill somebody with that. That's something I learned on my food handler skills from the, the test in New York yeah. City. Uh, Marcos MPLS. Uh, what is that? What do you think that is? Or Marcosmopoulos? Um, tell, tell you what I make for Thanksgiving NFL bets. You know what I'm saying? That's right. We're good. The 49ers are going to go all the way this year. And People are saying they might. Really? Know. I don't know. I just made that up. There's a, yeah, there's a conspiracy saying that the Super Bowl is going to be the 49ers and the Baltimore Ravens you saying that the oh. NFL like it makes it happen uh, every year and they could tell by the logo of the Super Bowl. Really? Yeah, it sounds like horse shit to me, but that's what people say. And you be careful when you're betting on your footballs, especially on Thanksgiving. You know, you got enough stuff to fight about with people. Uh, you know, you don't want your significant other finding you lost finding out you lost a bunch of money on such a nice holiday around your family. No. If I married a man who was a gambler, I would divorce him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's very I would nice. say bye. Meow Masita. We had salmonella outbreak in my elementary school, and it was from kids handling a turtle than eating. Oh my god, they get nasty. You know, you you got to think. Cleaning it, I used to have a turtle. You know, cleaning those tanks, it's a fucking disaster. Do you know there was a turtle that was found in Florida and it escaped for three years? Somebody said that they lost it. I'm like, how do you lose a turtle? I mean, some, those like, they're, they're literally slippery, and I think that's how these all these kids got uh, salmonellas. That's so disgusting. Yeah, they stinky too. Eventually, we just tossed it in the lake. Of course. Have you ever had turtle soup? Yep. That's delicious. I was at a turtle farm in the Cayman Islands. And then at the very end of the of us playing with all the turtles, they were selling turtle soup at the, the cafeteria. It's now like illegal, but um, you Not know. the Cayman Islands, probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Bag McButts, yeah, very active in the chat today. What's going on, uh, but Bag McButts 420? Man, I got to invite you to the restaurant I work at. If you were in Chicago, uh, we don't open until after I figured uh, you had been at the Park West. We had a bomb ass Cuban. Mm. Oh, I love a Cuban sandwich. But I went to Pequots. I went to Pequots. That shit is very good. So get your ass down to there. Um, you want to move on to some pics? We, we, this episode we have coming out uh, this week is about you know, to, moving out of your parents' house. Yeah, I feel like I might have gotten a little angry on this episode, so just heads up. But that's okay. <laughs> We're the brighter side. It's yeah. okay to be angry sometimes. <laughs> Ed's safe. <laughs> 
Amber never gets angry. What are you, ta- yeah, what are you talking about? Calm. You're perfectly calm all the time. Nothing upsets you. <laughs> <laughs> you go searching for horrible things all day, every day. That's right. <laughs> you don't live on X and find guys who make horrible comments about abortion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't do that. No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gem. Oh. Um, but moving out of my parents' house, I went down Facebook and I saw these old pictures of me and like... Because our whole episode is how it's kind of difficult when you first move out of your parents' house. Cause Very hard. Because you're parents, poor, you're stupid, you yeah, got no credit, you know. Absolutely, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, no, it's just something that everyone should do. And um, I have a couple um, old apartment photos that I found. Because Amber came in with a bunch of old apartment photos. I was like, oh, fuck, now i got to find some. <laughs> and uh, so I found uh, four old apartments I used to live in. And since we're staying on the Thanksgiving theme, uh, here's a big old Thanksgiving we had uh, back in Tallahassee. Uh, check this out. This is one of my favorites. There it is. Me and my mama Kathleen there on the end. I got the number 23. Right behind me is Danny Bedrosian. Remember him from a couple weeks ago? on the brighter He's side cute. yeah we were we were cute young men back then you know we were both in our 20s still spry and then over there is kathy tucci and her aunt and her mom and then there's jerome rogers see danny was uh just getting at p-funk then he's like a couple of people uh don't have uh have homes for thanksgiving this year oh. uh, and so uh you mind if we bring them over and you guys serve them and then uh it was uh jerome rogers who He's an unbelievable musician. He worked with Stevie Wonder. And you ever hear um, the Humpty dance? Yeah, Humpty Hump. Yeah, yeah. But you know, like the one thing was, um, play, play, play the music. That part of it. Yeah. That's him. Ah. And then that is Lady Keir from um, uh, she, from uh, Groove is in the Heart. From Groove is in the Heart. Really? That's her right there. She came to the house and she uh, she hung out with us. And, and we we had my mom feed her. My mom made a full crown of ribs and a big, big old apple pie. It was wonderful. And that's my buddy Kep, uh, old Willie Lump Lump, Corey Dansu, and Bailey. This is like this is right when the, right in the thick of the drug selling years. You could see the feast that it provided. We all a couple of us went to jail, but you know, and if I could do it all over again. I do it all over. Again. Ribs are worth it. Oh yeah, ribs are worth it. Yeah, there's so, so yeah, that's one of the most epic Thanksgivings of my life. But that was a a nice four bedroom house that we had in Tallahassee. It was like four hundred bucks a month. It was unbelievable. We had a giant backyard. We threw the biggest parties in the world there. It was the fucking best. Is that the place with the bathroom door that had the red X on the door? No, no, no. This is a nice place. That was where I lived with Henry back in high school. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a picture of that? <laughs> no, no. I don't think they were allowed. Even though Henry worked in a photo lab. There were like, there's like a solid decade of my life where I didn't take photos. And uh, that's, you know, it's upsetting. But Same, you know. I don't have a family picture. I was thinking about it today. I was like, do I have a family picture? Nope. Mm-hmm. Oh, Octo Barian, doesn't she owe you $45? Well, you know, technically, you know, Jerome owes me money and uh, Lady Keir is off the hook. Uh, but um, <clears throat> uh, Marcos, but isn't uh, jail like 12th grade in Florida? I mean, woof. It's more like middle school is when uh, everyone commits most of their crimes. Um, GB Nate, about a week after moving out of my parents' house, they came over for a visit to tell me they were getting a divorce. That'll happen. Wow. Well, at least they didn't do it when you were in the house. Yeah. How nice is that? They waited for you to leave and then you're like, yeah, yeah don't come back because there's nothing to come back to. Nothing to come back to. Uh, Sheriff Force, you said, I wish we celebrated Thanksgiving here. Where do you live where they don't celebrate Thanksgiving? I guess not Anywhere in America. Anywhere but America, I guess. Yeah. No, what? But the world is America, Ed. <laughs> what do you mean? All right. So then, um, and this is right when I moved, Julie and I moved in together just, just a couple hours afterwards. We had no furniture yet. We had just gotten into our place. There's my Budweiser and her glass of wine and we had a chair and a blanket and Julie went to sleep and I stared at her Aww. and I was like oh I guess we're together and this is our new apartment so it was a, I figured that was a nice thing to share but yeah a New York apartment one bedroom uh, I think two grand a wow month? Yeah, not, yeah, not, not too bad but you know still uh, pretty tough Pretty tough. That's, that's pretty this tough. This is me. Oh, here's the one. This is me uh, before then uh, in Ridgewood. This is me and my roommate's uh, cat named Sylvia. I hated cats. I couldn't stand them. And I was so mad. Oh, Share Force is from New Zealand. But I was so mad that I had to live with a cat. And uh, and so I was, you know, then I just ended up loving the fucking thing. And it, me and it became best friends. And this is me having a good time with the cat. So keep an open mind. You know, you don't want a dog. You don't want a cat. You never know. Uh, you might, you're might. you going to end up falling in love with it. Unite. Um, Miamacita says, so my family is Mexican and we had a Thanksgiving where this Filipino woman showed up with lumpia. She was hilarious and the lumpia was so good. Then after everyone left, 
uh, after she left, everyone was like, wow, that was so cool. Who brought her? Turns out no one did. She just stumbled to a party with the wrong brown people. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. Bring a she didn't dish. know what anyone looked like. She was like, ah, fuck. I mean, that's a good idea. You got nothing to do on Thanksgiving. Show up. Make a dish. Go to somewhere that's got a lot of cars parked out front and just pretend like you're invited. That's it. One time I was going to a party and I like around the marina and I like walked into this house with a house party and was like all right and it's like making friends being sociable I'm a lovely girl mm -hmm. and then come to find out I was at the wrong party so it's like oh go out of bounds and then I go to the right party and it sucked so much ass I went back to the wrong party I bet they love that yeah. <laughs> it was fun <laughs> um and I got one more picture here and this is uh when I lived with Holden uh, at uh, 656 Metropolitan, the the, the famous uh, tub shitting house. That's me. And this is, and that's Amber on the end. And remember, this was the night we had a murder fish show booked, and then we got there, and it, they had canceled it on us because no one came to see the show. And But we had brought a bunch of people to see the show, so we just went back to our apartment. And we put on the uh, we put on the show ourselves for yes. our friends who came to the show. We had about there was probably like ten people there. We did the full thing. Yeah, and that's me. Um, that's me uh, coming uh, out. Oh, this is my, for my kid's birthday party. I show up as a clown uh, with his dick out of his pants just to uh, be around his son, but he messed it all up and he because uh, he pulled his dick out of his pants and probably just went back to prison. I think that's how it's sketched. Right. Yeah, I remember that. You played my ex-wife. Yeah. That's fine. You know, so sometimes you can you know, impromptu parties. Just do it in a house. Who That's cares? Right. You can do a show at your own house. That's what I met Holden uh, in Murderfist for him because we were, we were doing shows in his parking lot of his house. It was great. At the House of Chaos. You uh -oh. can do show wherever you want. That's right. Well, you got some pictures of your I old apartments? I got some of mine. Let's, let's, let's run through this. Um, so this I think the fun. first one, this is when I lived in the brothel for a little bit. So you lived is, in a brothel? In in it's a, like an old brothel. It wasn't operating. It wasn't operating. Okay, but good. each. I think I paid $400. Okay. For a night? A night. <laughs> no, a month. And I think 400 was like super expensive. But you see how long it is? So each of these rooms that go in, that's a room. <clears throat> That, okay. like, the ladies of the night used to live in, but then we would just live in there. That's nice. And you got your trash cans there and your brooms. It's like, oh, it's like you guys thinking about cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. We made it pretty nice, as nice as we could. Is that you in the black? That's me in the black. I'm wow. very, yeah, there's like old pants. Wow. The, man, that's the old days. Look at that. All right. What's next? What you got? Right. Oh, that's me just living life. That's See? not a house. That's not a house. I'm that's outside. A, sometimes you're, you know, sometimes moving out of your parents' house, you don't get to go indoors. That's right. <laughs> but just to prove, like, when you move out of your parents' house, you can just eat crawfish and be drunk. <laughs> And like, <laughs> who gives a shit? You, maybe you're poor, but like, I don't care. You look like you are elated with life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally being on my own. That's right. Uh, let's go. Uh, this is me in college. They We just had like. Long furniture. In the house. That's cool. I'm on the right. Yeah. Look at you. Is that, is that, you got pizza? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is. Who's this guy? This, who are, this is, uh, you know. I don't know. We're in I'm theater. glad you have a picture of the house, but, it, you know, this isn't, uh, wasn't, doesn't look like it was planned well. No. Uh, <laughs> no, this wasn't. All right, let's keep it going. Shorts under shorts there. So this is a house in New York City. Okay. And, like, the purple with the tree in the background, mm -hmm. I painted all of that. And I painted the whole house, like, it's very eccentrically. It's and beautiful. thank you. When we moved out, we got our deposit back. Fuck yeah. So people moved in and they were like, oh, we love this. And then like kept it up. Because oh, before that was all just white. It looked, it was a great idea. And see, we just throw parties. Party Let's do another one. I think there's another picture of us. See? Oh. Like with the purple. Isn't you got that your fun? metal fingers out. You I guys, know. Were, you, were you guys the caterers? Uh, no, but they were just gay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Is gay, the gay guys wear black? Uh, yep. All right, that's good. New Yorkers. And that's oh. more parties we'd had. We'd have like Mardi Gras parties. Like Oh, this is a Mardi Gras party? Yeah. Nice. And let's keep it going. And then this is me in Brooklyn. Hell yeah. With like three other girls. It was a That's mess. a proper Brooklyn. I mean, look at that coffee table. We got pills. We got a computer. <laughs> we got some, a bunch of coffee cups. Some cigarette rollers. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Nylon magazine. Yeah, actual magazines back when you could have magazines. And it's right. like plantain chips, maybe. Yep. And look at that bookshelf just covered in shit. The so blow up unorganized. mattress. So unorganized. Yeah, the blow mattress on the bookshelf. That's right. That's that, reading does make you sleepy. It does. But that was the most fun I've ever had. I, I also paid about $400 for that place. Fuck and yeah. man, it was just like four insane women that would just like dress up, 
smoke cigarettes in the house. Like, who cares? I, I had a great time. Hell yeah. And, um, oh, and there you are, too. You're completely asleep, wrapped up in, like, a little burrito. That's right, because when I first got to New York, we didn't have a place to stay, so I slept on a blow-up mattress in a living room of some But it's some got girl. an egg crate on it, too. That's a nice blow-up mattress. It's pretty nice, but it would, like, I'd wake up, like, like that every morning. Oh, just depressed in there? Yeah. De depressed in two different ways? That's right. People keep saying, holy moly. <laughs> yeah. I did look very attractive. I think I still look attractive. You're beautiful. Thank you. But, you know... Uh, I think I look better than I used to, personally. Yeah, let's go back to that picture of me and Callier. Which one's that? The one where it's like so messy with the, the two before. Two before, not the uh, not the sunken in bed. Not the sunken in bed. The one with you uh, posing on the couch. Oh, the couch one with the horrible bookshelf. Right, we don't have uh, one more after one that. More. There, see. I look pretty good. You look great. You look I great do, now. Well, I do kind of like reminisce. Those bangs are very full. Maybe I should bring the bangs back. Do you have bangs? I don't know. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm not a bangs guy. I like I like uh, seeing someone's face completely. Yeah. Yeah, but I also I I, I know not to have uh an op having an opinion is also bad, uh, because <laughs> no because it's uh, no because if if you are, you're telling someone how they should look. As a man, and a man should never tell a woman how to look, oh. and it's a very, uh, it's a very uh, patriarchal ideal, okay. is to is to say I like it like this, so that's how you should do it. I only want to date girls with long hair, you know. It's, oh, that's right, a, right, right. That's like a wrong thing to say. Bangs. So I apologize. There you go. See, you got bangs. I keep it like this. There we go. All right, let's get to some gripes from the audience. And we're going to do some gripes from the audience, and then we're going to end the show. And then uh, make sure you stick around. Tears of a Clown is coming up next. We got Tearzo in studio right now in the chat. Uh, make sure you throw your emotes in there for Tearzo. Go ahead and throw some ham emotes in there for me as well if you got some time. Um, first gripe, Dom Abedes, 151. Uh, yesterday, I had a random drug test for work, and while trying to pee in a cup, I had a shit, so the lady was in the room with me while I shit. I, I mean, this doesn't fun. seem like a gripe. That seems fine. This is so you know, he's like, you want to watch me piss? You gotta watch me shit. That's right. You know, I think this is great. This is a power move. I'm really, I, I'm very impressed by you. And I think you, you now, I think you should just start a new tradition as the guy who shits every time this chick has to watch you piss. <laughs> You know, yeah. This is I, I think this is a great position in life for you. I, I want I want the best for you and, yeah. I, and Dama Beatties. And I and I think go ahead, you fucking shit in front of these people. You know, nothing like making some good eye contact while you're letting it out. Oh you my know? god, I hope it smelled bad. Um, Share force. Uh, I've been in the hospital for a week after getting col getting colostomy surgery, mm. and I can't leave until I shit out my new butthole. I need the brighter side to butthole things. Well, you gotta talk to Dama Beatties. Uh, Dama Beatties, you know, he'll pay it forward. He's been shitting in front of people. He'll go there. He'll watch you shit. He'll go check on your poo-poos. And if he's not, if you don't live in the same town, FaceTime. FaceTime Dama Beatties on the toilet. He's there for you, and you're gonna make sure, and you're gonna, you know, and you know, you know it would be awful if you didn't get this colostomy surgery to be honest with you yeah you know so uh so i'm glad it. you got it you're fixing your body uh you're going through a, i don't know how long the recovery process is i'm gonna guess since it's your asshole uh a year and a half uh but then you got a new asshole and you're gonna live your life and you're gonna shit all uh, as much as you want after this and it's not gonna yeah. be horrible and so congrats on your colostomy surgery and uh poo poo forever poo poo forever. think about how good that first shit's gonna be um, a A D R A A N P H D. My gripe. The other day, I was doing drug testing for a company. Some guy decided to take a shit while I was in there to watch a fill a cup. What the fuck? Oh. Well, you need a new job because you know what are you doing? You're fucking snitch. You know you're going around. <laughs> you're, you're making people pee in cups and what? You got to tell on them if they got a little marijuana in their pee pee. You son of a bitch. These people they deserve their jobs. How else are they gonna buy weed if they don't got a steady paycheck? <laughs> That's right. Kinder Bun Bun gripe. I got forced to resign from my teaching job, but I found a brighter side i might be getting a job uh being a ged instructor way cooler job by the way that's you can great curse um as a ged instructor you can smoke yeah. in the room you can smoke in the room Just light yeah. it up no this is great yeah every can order pizzas there this is you can write on the tables and it's usually the ged thing's usually at night and so you can like really like fuck up the room for the kids during the day that's right. you get everyone could put gum under the desks you know, we could do stuff like that. I mean, a GED is good with the, the good enough degree. There you go. That's what they used to call it. Um, we got a little more. We got a couple more. We're going to take some more. If you got any gripes, no gripe is too big. No 
gripe is too small, go ahead and throw them in the chat there. We'll get to them before we uh, clock out of this show. Hillary Leanne, gripe. I got a message from someone saying uh, she was sleeping with my ex-husband when we were married, and it's true. Well, the brighter side is this is ex-husband. You've already been divorced. Yeah. and it's done. Yeah. This person. You should Also, this person sucks too yeah there's no need for them to say that you're already divorced they're texting you telling you i used to fuck your ex-husband that's just no there's nothing no good about that they have some weird fucking guilt on themselves when they shouldn't have fucked your ex-husband right this piece of shit you know so at least you, so you got rid of two jerk offs in one move there good for um you. i'm sorry about your husband that's really messed up and i'm sorry this uh, supposed friend of yours thought it was a good idea to load this on you after you're already getting over the fucking mess. You don't deserve this. Um, I, all the best for you in the future. Uh, pick, uh, e e but you know, just a better screening process on your friends and husbands from now That's on right. going on. Lord Oxia, my gripe is still feeling sick after a week. It needs to be over. Well, your body still just needs some time. Yeah, yeah. Lay yeah, in yeah. bed. Have you been taking medicine? I see. I, you know, I know it sounds like a stupid question, but lots of people just sit there sick. And they don't take the medicine. Right. Or they go to work and they're still sick. And I then used you to do spread that all, it all the time. around. Yeah. Oh, man. I used to be a cook and I'd go in, you know, because you, you, you call out sick too many times, you get fired, you know, and you're, you know, so you go in when you're sick and you call out when you're feeling fine, you want to have a good time. And so you're just spreading that shit all around, you know, but that, you know, COVID kind of made calling out sick a little easier, I think. A little bit, but now we're getting back into the like, oh, I have COVID. Too bad. You got to show up. Don't care anymore. Yeah, it's America. It's capitalism. Yeah. That wins. Um, Ashley, babe, I got a gripe. My oven has been broken for five days and I haven't really heard back from my landlord. Well, we should get together with no oven and no fridge and oh, make dinner. Yeah. You got, yeah, the oven, I, I hate that when the landlords don't fucking help out and do shit right for people. You know, it's just, you. they live there. You know, and this it also, it's your house. Yeah. Don't you want it to have an oven? Don't you want it to work? You want these people to fucking start cooking turkeys in a toaster oven? No. No. Thanksgiving's coming up. You need the oven. This is a, a good demand. Start counting the days that you don't have an oven. And then you can start pro Tell them you're prorating your rent. You're counting the days you don't have an oven. You're prorating the rent on those days. That's smart, Ed. Yes. Yeah. We, I had to do that once. And the guy showed up the next fucking day. Yeah, of course it's, they did. Yeah. You should do that too, actually. Uh, we, we thought about it. And now we're going to get the fridge in two days. Yeah. So at this point, it's fine. It's I fine. But yeah. if they kept you know, shuffling their feet. My roommate did have to say like, she has medicine that needs to be refrigerated. I love that. So that's a good, that's lie. always a good mood, but it's always a good move. Yeah. I used to, you do that. Also, you go to a hotel and you want a refrigerator in your room. Cause you got some beers and stuff that you want to put in the refrigerator. And, uh, they say, Oh, the refrigerator is $50. You say I'm diabetic and now it's free. Really? Yeah, yeah, because you got to keep your medicine cold. So that's a little travel tip for everybody. Hey, I love yeah, that, Ed. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, Demon Lemur Nick, how you doing? What's going on? What's going on? Gripe. Um, I got my phone stolen after the San Diego LPN show because I fell asleep waiting for the train. Damn, well, that's a like New York you, move. That's a New York move. That is a New York move. I'm sorry that happened to you, Demon. I know how much you love your phone. Well, you got a new phone, it seems like. Yeah, or you know, using using his computer or whatever. Right. And uh, that, that you know, I really had a great time at the LPN show in San Diego, but that neighborhood wasn't the best. Oh, the gas lamp area? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a little, I felt a little unsafe at some point. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, was a, it wasn't the best neighborhood, but at the same time, I had a great time. Yeah, I had a lot of fun in San Diego. Oh, man. Um, we got lots of stuff going on, folks. Thank you so much for turning. Oh, we got one more gripe. Last gripe of the day. Uh, Fimber Dimber. I have a gripe. I, I'm always stuck behind really old people driving uh, way under the speed limit on my way to work. Yes. Um... Leave 10 minutes early? Yeah, that's, um, I, I, I am so bad at this because uh, angry driving and speeding and riding someone's I ass, it. it really drives me crazy. Yeah. And so whenever people complain about people who don't drive fast enough, you know, this is your fault. You should have left earlier because um, uh, you live in a place where old people live also. And so you got to make plans for yourself and uh, you can't lose your temper and get mad about it. You, can, you know what? 
You're allowed to bitch to me. I'm very sorry I took it out on you. Old people can be very annoying, but they also exist in society, so you got to live with it. Um, You're uh, going to be old one day. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, I got a new uh, Eddie Tunes two-hour radio hour. Uh, go ahead and check that out. It's going to be sitting in the, tr- in, the, in the chat. This is episode 28. It featured on this episode is a new hit single, Liver and Onions. You might have heard it on the last stream on the left last night. It is a banger, if I may yeah, say so. Yeah, it's a much. lot of fun. Uh, thank you for our subs tonight. Miles Levitt, Octoberian, Big Cheese Boy 1, the Queen of the Bats, and Golf House. Thank you so much for subbing to the channel, keeping us alive. And um, Amber, go check out Amber's Twitch channel as well. You do shows there every Sunday, uh, and it's basically, it's 3 p.m. Pacific. Right, but this Sunday, we might be doing a barbecue. Yeah. So you so might not do it this Sunday. I might, I, but I did it last Sunday. Maybe I'll go early. Maybe I'll do it at noon. So keep an eye out. Amber Sunday. Smelson, uh, check it out. It's a good way to hang out with her. She just hangs out on her porch. It's a really, it keeps me sane when I'm on the road. Uh, so make sure you check it out. It's a wonderful show. Um, anything else you want to plug to people? My butthole. Hell yeah. We boom, both boom, got Patreons. Eddie Tunes, Amber Smelson, you know what's up. Stick around for Tears of a Clown. I love you guys so much. We'll see you in two weeks here on the brighter side on LPN TV. That's right, someplace underneath here next week.